Hello viewers. In this video, we are going to see how to draw a transport network diagram in MapInfo. I am using MapInfo Pro 15 version. Uh, here you can see the final output of uh, the transport network diagram of a small cluster net. So you can see the layers. There are some five layers are there. One is the cosmetic layer, another one is site and link layer, and then, then two thematic layers. We will see this thing in the later part. Okay. In order to draw the transport network diagram, we require two files. One is site Excel sheet and the another one is the link Excel sheet. So let's see the Excel sheet first. Then we will go to the transport network diagram. Okay. First, I am opening the site sheet. Okay, uh, in the site Excel sheet, the first three columns are very much required. Uh, the, it captures the site ID, uh, longitude and latitude. First longitude comes and then lat latitude follows. Okay, then I captured the RNC of the sites and site type, whether it is connected to fiber or microwave. And is there any issue in the site like latency, frame loss, low throughput issues? You can capture such kind of issues or parameters um, in, the, uh, in these columns. So there is no limit for it unless you make it mappable in the trans in the map info diagram. Okay, let's see that how we can do it. Now. This is the first file and we'll see the next file. So this is a link file. In this first six fields are very much mandatory for it. So what it captures, it captures the site A and site B of the link and lo longitude latitude of both the sites coordinates. And then it captures the vendor information and then it captures the link utilization values. Similarly, you can keep on adding like transmit power. What is the receive level? What is the modulation? What is the equipment type used? Uh, radio type used? Uh, what is the antenna size? And these kind of information can be captured. In a, you can add more number of information in this one. It will be uh, useful in a later part. We will see how it will be useful. Okay. So this is the final output. You can search the site also. Just control F. And if you want to search a site, click on site. And site, you are going to search based on site ID. And if you want to differentiate the search icon, just click on it. Make it round. I'm searching site 5. It makes a round here. You can see the round. If you enlarge the round, and it will be clearly visible. Okay, this is the final product. You can uh, sites are differentiated based on the RNC values, and the links are differentiated based on the vendors. I mean the thematic maps. And uh, I uh, I labeled the site with site IDs, and I labeled the links with link utilization values. Okay, let's see how to draw this diagram. Uh, first, I'm going to close all. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is called as a map basic window. You can activate this map basic window from here. Options, hide map basic window, show map basic window. Okay. I'm going to the folder now. I'm deleting all the files except these two Excel sheets. Okay. Let's start with uh, sites first. We are going to load the site Excel sheet now. Here I'm uh, I'm telling the map info that I'm going to use the entire worksheet. We click on entire worksheet and the first row is given for uh, for a header. It contains the header information. So I, mm, I'm, I'm excluding that header information uh, in the map info and click on OK. OK. And the entire table is loaded here and then go to table maintenance and table structure. So just index everything. Why I am indexing everything means all the parameters are going to be used in the map info. Now. Okay, and the entire table is mappable. Finally, now. click on OK. And then 
table create points here you can select the uh, icons whatever you like okay And now you want to see the final product. Click on window and new map window. Here you can see all the site informations. Then uh, one layer is added here. Cosmetic layer is a default layer where all the informations will be embedded. And the second layer site layer is added up. And we are going to add the third layer, the link layer. File open. The same procedure. Okay, I'm selecting, I'm going to use the entire worksheet. First row is for header. Click on OK. Click on OK. And then again, table maintenance, table structure. Click on link. OK. I'm going to select all the parameters because I'm going to use all the parameters. Click on table is mappable. OK. And now we, uh, we are going to draw the line between site A to site B. This can be done through a command. Okay. In order to run the command, we need the map basic window. Go to options. Map basic window. Show map basic window. So this is a map basic window. And the command to draw the lines between site A and site B is update. And what is the Excel sheet name? Uh, that is link. Okay. Link. Set. Object. OBJ, sorry, space equal space create line long A that A long B that B. So everything should be in capital long A that A. Long B. Then go to file, close all, before that save everything, go to the map info folder, go to the map info folder and now first open the link file, link tab, okay, links are loaded and open the site tab, okay, sites are loaded. Now uh, we are going to differentiate the sites based on the RNC type which it is connected to. So you need a thematic map. Now, so click on map, go to create thematic map, click on individual, next, select site and select RNC as because this is the parameter we are using it. Ignore zeros and blanks. If the, you don't have any RNC information, you can simply ignore it. Click on next and then the styles. You, you can use color attributes and all attributes. So RNC1 will be in red color, RNC2 will be in green color. You can change it as well. Uh, you can change the colors, everything. You can draw a border or you can drop a shadow or make it bold. Okay. okay. Click on OK. Okay, right. Uh, now I want to label it. Click on this one. Uh, this is a label information. Site label here. J just double click on the site and go to label display. I want to, uh, I want site ID as a label. So I just selected site ID. You can change the font here, color here, and you can make special efforts here. Click on cancels, labeling, labeling rules where I want to put the label in the site. I want to put under the site. So you can see the preview here. Click on OK. Done. Then uh, one more layer is created. This is a thematic layer of the site na, which captures the RNC values. Na. Okay, then we have to create one more thematic map uh, for the links because we want to differentiate the links based on the vendor information. Okay, now again go to map, create thematic map, click on individual, next, 
and then go to uh, vendor information ignore zeros and blanks click on next go to styles and then use color attributes you can increase the width of the line Done. Okay. Okay. Now we want to label it. Click on the label here, and uh, site ID is displayed here. I want to change it. I want to, um, I want to put utilization as a label value. So go to label display, and select utilization, and then if you want to change the fonts, you can change it. You can make a box for the values. Okay. Click on OK and then you can see the utilization values are displayed in the links. Okay, once it is done, you have to save this file as a workspace. Uh, go to save workspace and save it as sample. Okay, done. So you can see that uh, sample workspaces here. Now you can close all. And if next time, if you want to open it, just click on sample dot workspace. You are uh, this one is open here. So I previously in the beginning of the video we just dis we discussed about the parameters which are to be included in the Excel sheet. Now, so why I want to uh, insist on that is, for example, click on this link. Control C and open an Excel. Control V, paste it. So um, uh, all the information in the Excel sheet can be displayed here. So since the information is very much limited, I captured long longitude, latitude, and the vendor information and the utilization values. So you have a very little um, uh, information here. So if you add more information in the big in the Excel sheet which we used in the beginning of the video. So you will get more information here once it's drawn. Similarly, if you click on the site and control C, control V, you can get the site information as well. So that's all viewers. Thanks for watching.